Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a tool called Handheld Companion. This tool, the latest version of it, will allow you to use the gyro that's built in every Asus ROG Ally, and we're gonna be able to make use of the gyro to control your games. We're gonna show you how to do it inside of different emulators like CMU for Wii U emulation, as well as native PC gaming. Now, before I show you that how-to video on how to set up the gyro and move your games, let's go ahead and move on to this video's sponsor. Most all of my subscribers are some of the most technically savvy bunch on the internet. We all know the importance and benefits of using a VPN to create a secure tunnel to protect our privacy so that wherever we go on the internet, we can be sure to evade those ninjas who may be snooping. So that's why I'm here. It's time to suit up with Atlas VPN. It's like your personal online armor. Blocking unwanted ads, nixing nasty links, you can enjoy the most affordable online protection for just $1.83 per month and you get an additional three months for free. And you know what else? If you're doing a bit of online shopping, maybe for a flight or a hotel, your own geodata could potentially be costing you more money as its costs can be calculated based on your area. Atlas VPN hooks you up with the best deals possible by allowing you to virtually exist in another location. In this example, showing that we are looking for a hotel in Paris, but we switch our virtual location to New Jersey to see if there's results in a better price. What's even cooler, one Atlas VPN subscription's got all of your gadgets covered, every single one of them across a variety of operating systems, from desktop to mobile, even to TVs. Even when you're just Googling stuff, Atlas VPN ensures you can do that privately without anyone tracking you. That's how you get real organic search results. Now, here's the real kicker. Atlas VPN has a summer deal going on, which means you can grab Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.83 per month, and they're throwing in an extra three months for free. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out totally risk-free. Protect your privacy and get the many benefits of Atlas VPN for this ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking the link in the video description below. But be quick, as it is a limited-time offer. So what are you waiting for? Join the Atlas VPN crew today and make the internet your playground, not your battlefield. Welcome back to the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the brief how-to video on how to set up Handheld Companion to get gyro working on your Asus ROG Ally. All right, this part of the video is gonna serve as a quick how-to on how to get gyro working on the Asus ROG Ally. We are using the latest version of Handheld Companion. This is 0.16.1.1. This is currently the Patreon build. Thank you very much to Ben for sending that over to me so that I can get this set up and show it off to you. Now, the Asus ROG Ally literally just launched, so we still have very early support here. One of the new features in the Patreon build is that we can navigate this menu using the controller itself, which is pretty cool. There are some things that I do recommend. We're gonna go through those first. So one of the things that I would recommend is that you go ahead and enable auto start application. This is actually super necessary because you want Handheld Companion to launch prior to any other game launcher running, like Steam. So if Steam launches before Handheld Companion, what's going to happen is an order of operations issue where you're going to see an issue where uh, Steam will initialize the main game controller and then Handheld Companion will run on top of that, meaning the gyro won't actually be interpreted and Steam will be using the main controller there. So you always want to make sure that Handheld Companion opens first before any of their launcher does that could potentially uh, initialize the controller. The second thing that we have to do here as a bit of house cleaning and make sure that we get everything set up as we need to, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Bosch sensor that is on the Asus RG Ally. You do need driver version 1.0.1.5. This is kind of mandatory and what it comes installed on the Asus RG Ally by default I believe is 1.0.1.3, uh, which will not work. Anyway, one of the things that I would do after setting that up is if we go to hotkeys, this is pretty uh, a really good tool to use. So you can see the summon quick tools menu here. I have this mapped to the D-pad down. If we go ahead and press down here, you can see that this brings up the handheld companion tool. And this brings up as basically a quick tool. So we can go ahead and press down to make it go away and press down to make it come up. We'll go ahead and go to the main one now. If you go here and there you can see the controller moving with the gyro that is on there. So now we can actually start using this in games. So now I'm going to show you a few different scenarios here. So I'm going to go ahead and press D-pad down. I'm going to load up an emulator. All right, so here we have the latest version of Simu. I'm going to go ahead and go into options and we're gonna to go to input settings. Now, one of the things that you should notice here is that it shows up as controller two. So what you would have to do is press this little plus symbol on Simu because what we wanna do is initialize the controller. So you can see that when I move the left stick, 
internally on Simu, it, it moves as well. Now I've gone ahead and already enabled all of these controls, which you have to go through itself. I am also using it as a Wii U gamepad. The other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press plus again because you want to add a DSU controller. Now I've already gone ahead and do that. But now what you'd go over here, you'd go to API and you would select DSU controller and then controller would say waiting until the, it detects the service that's running from handheld companion and then you can select it. I have already done this so we can go ahead and click cancel right here. I'm going to go to DSU controller and here you can see DSU controller set uh, already set and we go to settings and use motion control is enabled. At this point we can now use gyro inside of Simu. All right, here we are in Breath of the Wild. I'm using Simu right now, and if I do a right stick and I move around, you can see that the gyro works just perfect. Super cool. All right, so that's how you'd get it working inside Simu. but now let's try to get this running in native PC games. Now, you have a few options here. Let me go ahead and remove this controller from our view here. I'll go ahead and move that out of the way. All right, so here you have a few options. Right now, I am emulating an Xbox 360 controller. What you can also do is you can actually emulate a DualShock 4 controller, and you just heard uh, the Windows basically disconnect and reconnect controller. As far as Windows is concerned, a DualShock 4 is now connected to uh, this machine. So now inside of Steam, and if we take a look at Steam input, you can even see down here it says X and uh, Circle, so it already detects it as a DualShock 4 controller. This is actually nice if you wanted to quickly set up PS4 or PS5 remote play that needs a DualShock controller, and then it would be far easier to get game streaming going this way. So Handheld Companion also does this very, very easily as well. And you can also use uh, Gyro through the DualShock 4 because it'll send those commands over to the game, but you'd have to go ahead and set that up for Steam input. And yet another way that we can do it, let's say that you wanted to keep the 360 controller, but we wanted to overlay a Gyro over that. There's actually multiple ways that we can do it. And there's also another thing that we have to be mindful of. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into profiles real quick. And you can see that I already have Doom Eternal set up here. I am actually going to the direct path of where Doom Eternal is, and I just have the executable right there. Once we do that, then you can go down here, you can see extended compatibility, X input plus. This is necessary because as you saw in Simu where it said controller two, what we're actually using in this system is controller two, but Doom Eternal is only going to listen for controller one. The other awesome thing that's inside of Handheld Companion, again, we're still inside the profile here and we are in Doom Eternal. If we keep on scrolling down, you can actually go to additional options down here. If we go to additional settings, what you're going to find is that you can actually have experimental flick stick support. So you can actually turn on flick stick if you wanted to, if flick stick is a type of gyro control that you actually enjoy using, and you can actually enable flick stick through handheld companion for the ROG ally, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so here we are in Doom Eternal. Now, you heard that tone, so X Input Plus has remapped controller 2 to controller 1. Obviously, we can see that this is working, and Handheld Companion is still running. Now, one of the things that I did was that I mapped left trigger to initiate gyro. I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So we're going to go back into Handheld Companion. We'll go over here. Now, you could also do this directly via the hotkey menu to jump out the quick menu here. And you can actually go into the other setting here and you can say use a per game profile. In this particular instance, I'm doing it via the handheld companion interface itself. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the hotkey menu. And up here, again, you can see my profile is Doom Eternal. And you can see that it, it's pointing to the EXE right there. We do need to go ahead and then enable the global settings. Now, you can change some different settings for the gyro and try to make it a little bit better for yourself when you're actually using the gyro. Inside of universal motion control settings, you can see I have enable universal motion control. And that's on. And what I have... Uh, made the motion activation to is left trigger. So you can see right there that left trigger, you press on that and you press whatever button that you want to act as when you want gyro to be used. And we are, you can see the output device is the right stick. So that is the right stick, which is the camera device. So we're going to go back into Doom, Doom Eternal here. All right. And here we are in Doom Eternal. And then you can see I'm moving around. And if I use Anything on the gyro, you can see the gyro is moving from handheld companion, but nothing is going there until I press left trigger and then we can actually get gyro working in there super simple the other thing that i wanted to quickly mention here and i'm not really covering in this video but it'll be covered in a later video there is some experimental support for automatic tdp so if we go ahead and bring up the quick launch menu that you can see right here we go over to the third menu and you can see automatic tdp so we'll go ahead and click that on and then you can just select the target frame rate that you want 
So in this instance, it'll go all the way up to 120 FPS because it notices the monitor runs at 120. We're going to say 60 right there. Now, this will... What Handheld Companion is doing is actually modulating TDP, and it's not doing CPU or GPU clocks at all. And the reason that they're doing TDP specifically is because Handheld Companion is agnostic to any type of handheld. It'll run on Intel, it'll run on AMD. So this is the method that they're going through with trying to handle automatic TDP. So you would basically check that and select your target frame rate, and then go on from there, and it should work on uh, Intel or AMD, but it is still experimental right now and is being worked through. So that is a feature to look forward to on Handheld Companion as well. It's great to see third-party apps supporting the Asus ROG Ally still very early in its life cycle. Now, I did show additional features that Handheld Companion does do, and it tries to do it in an agnostic way by covering pretty much every handle that exists there right now. And it does have auto TDP-like functionality, but this particular video was just taking a look at how to set up Gyro. We'll be covering how to do auto TDP in a bunch of different apps, including Handheld Companion later on in another video, but I want to make sure that we have better support at the current time. I showed that it does work, but I want to just make sure that it's in a far stable solution before I start making how-to videos. Uh, that's it for this particular video. If you're interested in a Handheld Companion, there's links in the description field below. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.